Okay, we're almost caught up. Day five. This was my best friend's birthday. Happy late birthday, Money Bell. Ooh, this one is grapefruit dragon fruit spread. Orange fruit, apple fruit, carrot vegetable. If you understand the reference, we can be friends. Hello, welcome back. Here is a story time up on because this video definitely needs context considering as I'm sitting here recording this, the only footage that I have is the day that I took him to the cat rescue to be adopted. So, welcome. Today for the mukbang I have some hot and sour soup, beverageino number one, classic water, beverageino number two, sparkly water, courtesy of my silly stream, and then just in case I need it, Trader Joe's soy sauce, the reduced sodium version. Which, if I'm being completely honest, I'm just trying to use up because we don't have any La Choy light soy sauce in the house currently. And as far as I'm concerned, that should be the only one that exists. But alas, it is not. How do we get here? Well, let's take a first bite. Cheers, everybody. Okay, I don't think I need the soy sauce, but I'm not going to get up and put it away. So, backstory. I want to say maybe like the last week of October, we have in our backyard there's it's technically a bunny house but we have a tiny house for the neighborhood kitties and we have a little uh personal heater thing in there to keep them warm because it's been getting down to like 20 degrees at night and so we had that out there i think we got it in like september or something but at any rate it's there so one day we have a camera out there as well i saw a new kitten just kind of stumble into the house and he, he looked okay in terms of like, there wasn't any like blood or he didn't have any uh, visible injuries. He was just a little wobbly. It was like he was a little bit drunk. That was a chair, I promise. So anyway, I saw him on the camera and I told Andrew, I don't know if he looks very good. Maybe we should just bring him inside and take a look at him. And so we brought him in. He had a couple fleas, not nearly as many as the first cat that we had tried to rescue, R.I.P. Fifi. So it wasn't very bad. He had some and it's very easy to see because he was all white on his body. So we got him cleaned up, gave him a flea treatment, uh, took off the fleas that were on him. There were like maybe like one above each eye, above and below each of his eyes. We kept him inside. We had to litter box train him, which was not very fun, but you know, thankfully it only took like a day or two before he finally got the hang of it. Um, so Andrew immediately decided that his name should be Chauncey. So we kept him, we took him to a local cat rescue organization, it's called the Cats Meow. And over the course of several weeks, they basically helped us. We, we only had to take him to the vet once when we had first gotten him because this is like gross warning, but his like butthole was really inflamed and like bleeding a little bit. So they gave us an ointment that helped clear that up. And then the cat's meow started giving him his vaccines and everything. So they asked if we could foster him, so we did. So we kept him for, let me think. I guess total we had him for almost a month. Which is like crazy to think about because it felt like so quick, but also like quite a while at the same time. We were his foster parents and we sent them pictures and everything and they posted him on their Facebook page and then maybe like a week or two after they had posted him on Facebook, Kim, who's one of the people who runs it, texted me and she asked if um, I could bring him in to meet a potential adoptive family, which we knew because even from the first day we brought him, they always told us that all white cats for some reason move very quickly like they don't stay up for adoption for very long so it may have been a little bit faster if he was in the facility staying there but since he lived with us it took not even that long but you know longer than it might have because they had one all white cat that got adopted after two days another one that was there for maybe like a few hours and was adopted same day so but yeah that's that's basically what happened we you know just kept him in his own little room in the guest room for the like first three weeks to keep him separated from our cats just so that 
he could get caught up in all the shots and all that kind of thing. And then after that, um, we only had him for maybe like another week after that point, or like it was a short amount of time. So we started letting him out to like hang out and mingle with our cats. As per usual, Sasha did not care for the kitten. She doesn't like other animals, period. She's a people cat. At first, both of the boys were equally as uninterested and mean to him, but after the first like couple days of him kind of coming out for a while and then you know we would give him his space in his room too because he was getting kitten food and i know my cats and they will just eat all of it so we had to separate him at some points and then also at night i didn't want him to get stuck like under any furniture or anything if we weren't awake and able to like see or hear where he was so he would sleep in the room by himself with a little heater at night just to keep him nice and warm because kittens need to be warmer than like a regular cat. After the first like day or two of being around him, Scout actually was very sweet and would play with him, they would run around and so it was so funny because usually like Ollie and Scout will wrestle with each other but <laughs> with Chauncey he would like chase after Scout so it was funny because usually like the boys Ollie and Scout will be like chasing each other and wrestling and like tumbling back and forth from the like front and back of the house but this time it was actually Scout that was being chased by this tiny little kitten so it was, it was really funny to see I don't think I have any videos of it but if I did I would show you guys just take my word for it it was funny Okay, sorry about that. I had to do a battery change because she was dying. It was actually very, it was easy to take care of him. Uh, we got him, you know, kitten food. He had his own little bed and everything. And we kind of knew, or at least I knew for sure, that the day that I was taking him to the cat's meow to meet the potential adoptive family, I didn't, I had no thought in my mind that he was going to be coming back home with me. I kind of knew that they were going to end up more than likely taking him. So I did spend a little bit of extra time holding him and just, you know, saying goodbye. All right, it's a bittersweet day, friends. I'm taking our little Chauncey boy to go meet with a prospective adoptive family. Are you excited, Chauncey? Little guy, you might be getting adopted right now. I put his collar on. It's a little big, but I wanted him to look as cute as possible. But he might not be coming back, so. I'm a little sad, but I'll talk about it here in a second, but I just wanted to insert this so we can see this is, is what's happening today. You did a great Charles. Looking good, looking good. He was very sweet. Everybody who met him always said how handsome he was. We put his little bow tie collar on just to make him extra cute. But it was, it was great. I'm glad we had a successful foster because our first experience was not not so great. It was a little like, I wouldn't say it was traumatizing, but it was very sad because the first kitten that we tried to rescue was arguably probably too far gone by the time we even got her inside. She had like hundreds of fleas all over her and we spent like hours trying to get them all off of her. And so she ended up not making it, sadly. But with Chauncey, he was in so much better shape. And yes, it was a pain to litter box train him and everything. But after that, it was such a pleasure to have him. And I think the comment I get a lot from people, or have at least, was that it must have been so difficult not to just keep him. And realistically, I would love to keep all the animals. Like if I could, I would have an animal rescue or something, or like a big farm with a bunch of animals. However, that's not my current situation, and I know that, and so I'm not going to live in a world that doesn't exist, because <laughs> I don't really see the point in that, but I'm really glad the family that he ended up going to, I don't, I don't know their names and I didn't really know a whole lot about them, but they seemed very kind. They said that they also had a two-year-old Siamese cat, and that, you know, hopefully they would just be little buddies, and um, that was on the 4th of December that he was adopted and I haven't gotten a call from the cat's meow that we're supposed to take him back so <laughs> I'm assuming that everything worked out and is great so we're really grateful because as much as we loved him I truly cannot have another cat we have three of them unless somebody decides to kick the bucket even though she's 21 I don't really foresee that happening but that's okay what I will say also is that it was a great feeling to be able to 
keep a kitten as a foster and help it to get adopted out. We do have quite a few neighborhood cats in the area. And so there are some that are older that we're hoping to maybe like closer to the springtime to do like a trap neuter release kind of situation because it's really hard for feral cats to be domesticated and I think after a certain point you can't really do that. For Chauncey, he was so little. We think that he was maybe like four or five weeks old, probably closer to five weeks by the time we brought him inside. And he started growing a lot because when we brought him in, he was eating like regular food and not just kind of like whatever you find on the streets or like from the mama kitty. You know, he was young enough that it was very easy. And he also <laughs> basically kind of like surrendered as soon as uh, we, he went into the little bunny house and then I opened the door and went to pull him out. And I, I sometimes when I have to pick up the kittens, because we've had to do this before, we have to give them a bath sometimes. I don't know what, it, it doesn't scare me, but I'm very like jumpy and I just feel like they're gonna bite me or something. And I always wear like gloves, but still. And so he didn't protest at all. He was just kind of like, all right. And then when we brought him in, he was in a uh, plastic like carrier in Andrew's room. And he was just kind of hissing at us. But I mean, he seemed fine. He was, um, he ate very well and you know, we were able to get him cleaned up and had his own little space and everything. And so he quite enjoyed it. It was a great experience. I would definitely do it again. That's the story of Chauncey. I'm going to finish eating the soup here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one. Okay, bye.